Hello and welcome to Jill Cameron Creations. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss a single video. I'm showing you a plaid background SVG file today. Hello, we are making a plaid background today. I created an SVG file and it's three different layers in it. Back, middle, and top. The top layer is super delicate. And for all three layers, you want to make sure that you turn on the overcut feature so that you get nice, sharp corners. Also, if you're cutting anything heavier than like a 60 pound cardstock, you want to cut it twice. And it doesn't matter the blade depth. I like to have my blade at the, the height that it's supposed to be for 120 to 150 pound, five pound cardstock, even when I'm cutting 80 pound cardstock and I still cut it twice that makes sure that all the cuts are nice and crisp and clean in my corners and everything pops out like it's supposed to so just keep that in mind this top layer as you can see is super delicate the sizing on this allows you to turn the uh, plaid at an angle so that you can have a different angle you can also offset it slightly if you want to or you can use it just how it's supposed to be in just a regular plaid pattern here is the thickness on the middle layer. And here is the thickness on the bottom layer. And then you'll just trim off the side pieces. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to speed this way up because it's going to take a few minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and glue everything down to our navy piece. And then we'll finish off our card with a simple sentiment and some jewels. So I started seeing a lot of plaid layer dies and I said that's really great except that they are one size and I wanted to be able to create plaid on any size card so I went ahead and I created a plaid SVG file it's three different layers to it and you resize them all together to be whatever size that you need them to be and you can use this on a scrapbook page if you want to you can use one layer you can use two layers you can use all three of them and then you just resize them to whatever you need to need them to be trim off the excess and you have a beautiful plaid pattern in your background I did notice when I created this that I was a little short on a few of the layers so I went ahead and fixed that and that is the final design. This card I went ahead and finished off with just some simple heat embossed elements from Pink Fresh Studios and also Pink and Main sentiment here. You can use this plaid background in pieces, in parts, in whole, whatever you want to for this. I decided to just go with one piece on the bottom and then just do my smile sentiment and the same gold embossing so this is going to be available over in my etsy shop and you can go ahead and pick that up so that you can create any plaid that you want to in your background for your cards and or scrapbook pages thanks for joining me today we'll see you soon